Oh, what up, YouTube? Welcome back. I don't know what I'm doing with these. But yeah, welcome back. This episode, we're going to work on the bike, on the rear wheel, and the slackness. So, at the moment, this is what I'm riding. And I'm running the Colonial, the Colonial, Colonial, whatever, however you pronounce it, I don't care. Pin to a free coaster. So let's get the wheel off and see how big of a slack we can get and what's the smallest slack we can get. Possibly we'll play around with in between as well. But we'll see how it goes. So let's get to it. Alright. Let's see what the biggest slack we can get on this rim as it is. So, to do this, you're going to need a 6mm Allen key, shifter, socket, whatever. So, hang on, let's do it in a couple of seconds. Lock that out washer, put it to the side, undo the drive wheel, put that to the side, alright, the hammer, pop it out, axle will come straight out. Your bearing, your washer, place the bearings back on, put your hat washer back on, going overboard. Bring your wheel back up. Drop this piece in first. Now make sure you got 20 or 3 on the tips. Sure, everything is centered beforehand. Now put the bottle back in. Uh, your hat washer, 
rounded head in lock nut back on and we'll see what happens. Alright, bike's back together and we have major slack. Nothing, still nothing and there we go. So riding now could be dangerous, it could be a lot more fun, but I'm going to go it's going to be a lot more dangerous. So, one rotation back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One rotation back, eight forward. Yeesh. This is going to be dangerous. All right, another day. Now to test out the slackness. See, really how dangerous slackness can be. I'm only going to try a few things and I'm going to call it quits. Then I'll go home and start adding spaces again. So, let's just see if I can get my run. Or, feeble, 180, whatever the stall is, and then a fakie. So, let's do it. All right, I gotta admit, that is dangerous. Oh, crap. So, yeah. Never, I don't think I caught it on camera, but every time I went to start, I just smashed my kneecap. If you're not set up ready, you're not gonna get this. Oh. But, that just proves how much slack there is. Now let's see, let's turn the bike upside down again. Now let's have a look at this. Yeah. All right, now if this isn't set up right and you're not ready, you're just gonna eat yourself cause this is just trying to kick off. But that was just one rotation. We get two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty.
that was 70 pedals forward and I still don't have anything so now I'll go home I'll rip it apart again well hopefully I'll make it home and not kill myself but I'll go home rip the back wheel off again and add a spacer one spacer then we'll try it again then we'll add two spacers three spacers until we get it back to where I was happy with it but this is showing you how much slack can go on a free coaster and how much it can almost kill you oh, damn my knee is sore so let's pack up and head back home make it max uh, minimum slack that was way too hard knee pains you name it it hurts so I'm going to take it all apart you do it the easier it becomes the quicker you can get the belt done our washer again and I've got three extra washers so I've got to tuck them on and we'll build it back up and we'll see what the slackness is like there. Always make sure your pins on your coaster are greased up because as far as I can tell there's nothing worse than not having enough grease. So now just place your bridle head back in, grab your axle very carefully, line it all up. and tap it in. And then repeat process. Put the brother back in. Turn in really super easy. Watch what happens.
and done. Now we're going to chuck it on the pipe and we'll see what sort of flakiness we get now. So let's do it. Bikes back together. We got tension here. So we'll take it back one pedal. And we got tension. Oh, that feels good. Oh, look at that. Let's see. Go to... Oh, that's so much better. So, next thing to do is get out and ride it. So, let's do it. So, I've still got a little bit of work to do on it, but... It's feeling a lot better than it did yesterday, so big ops. I think I just need to flip the main large spacer over and should be back. But that's a heavy different story. For now, we're just testing it. So yesterday, I really couldn't do anything. Shouldn't need myself, you name it, done it. So let's see what we can get today. See if I can hit part of the line anyway. So here we go. Alright, she's quicker to engage now than yesterday, but at the same time, there is still a lot of blank spot. So, I'm not 100% sure if that's because the main spacer that came in it is upside down or not. So, I'm going to call this experiment done for today. Go home and we'll just flip it. Just that one bearing. We'll just flip that and see if that makes totally any difference. Uh, it's getting warm. So, yeah. I'm all sweaty already and it's only been what? 20 minutes, 30 minutes? So, wow. But yeah. Let's get home, get this back rim off, get it apart again, and then we'll see again what happens. So, I'll see you back at home.
No, no, it still feels a bit weird. I think I may have added the washer, the main washer upside down. So we'll pull it out, fix it up, and we'll try again. The more you play around here, the better you're going to get. The better you get, the easier it is. So, it's just play and keep playing. So, let's do this. upside down so hopefully that's all it takes so just put the washers around and we'll have even more tightness more tightness on the slack so let's cross our fingers give it a shot see what happens Now hopefully we have taken it to the minimum slack there ever will be, so it's only a matter of putting it back on the bike, putting pegs and everything back on, and then getting out and trying it again. So, good. So, let's get to it. Alright. Watch has been turned, the main watch has been turned around with extra watches on the opposite side now instead of what I was just riding. So now we got pressure, one back one, one, one back two, two. So one for one, it's all good, but we'll soon find out once we get out riding again. So let's get to it. Alright, we're back at the Remark Park. Bearings, uh, sorry, space has been flipped to the opposite way. All the other spaces are in there, so 
Let's see what happens now. Let's get to it. Uh, all right, I really don't know what's what. This video could be just pointless. Might have just put too much slack on it, full stop, but it's all going with it, so this is what we're working with today. Tension. So. So yeah, that's what I'm working with, so I'm going to go home, try and get it back to normal, and that's that. We'll see what happens. So, let's go and hit up a couple more spots, or maybe just go home again. Who knows? We'll see. Let's go. Alright. Time to switch back to what it originally was. I've already taken it all apart. I'm going to save you the head mess around and just flip it all around take the extra berries off like that, like that and just put it all back together now technically this should all go back and be bugger all slackish so grease everything up put it all back together exactly the way you had it and found it and cross fingers let's see all right we're back here at the skate park the spacing in the free case has been put back i hope to the way it should be so we're gonna test it out see what it does and we'll take it from there so let's get to it and see what happens Hopefully there's bugger all gaps or anything, so I can only cross fingers, so let's do it.
Alright. That wasn't too bad. It was still a lot of slack in there. I have no clue. I think the moral of this story is don't listen to me on three coasters. Not on working on them anyway. I think I might have buggered it. But that's what you get. So, yeah. Moral of the story this is how to break your free coaster. Not how to get your slacks going or anything, because there's plenty of slack in there, it just won't close up now. So, I'm going with my broke it. Broke it, but it's still rideable. So, I'll just keep going with the way it is, and that'll be it. So, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a thumbs up. If you didn't, drop the thumbs down. Let me know you're all out there. And if you have any other thoughts or things I can do, leave a comment. I'll get back to you. But until then, thanks for sticking around this long. Sorry it took for so long, but peace out.